Righto guys, we're going to set this up. Um, looks like it's going to be a, not a bad night. A little bit of high cloud around. But all in all, pretty good. So I'm going to try and put this board there. That's my equatorial platform. Um, not ideal, but I've got some big trees in the backyard. So I can't get a shot at Saturn, Jupiter and Mars all in one night anymore. Saturn's pretty much gone, so and everyone enjoys nice Saturn images. So what I'm doing is it still travels quite high and it'll just pass the edge of the roof there. So if I can put the board here and um, level it, then um, I'll get the clearance of Saturn for maybe an hour and a half or something like that and then I can move on to Jupiter which will be about there and then I'll get three hours of Jupiter hopefully and Mars what I've got to do for Mars is um, I've got to basically push all this back over there and um, into the middle of the second driveway and um, shoot the rest of the night from because it only just clears that tree so it'll just it'll come up from over there and it'll just sort of clear that tree it'll stay under that roof line um, if I set up in the backyard I, I'll basically get axed by those trees and and that's Mars is quite low at 30 degrees for us which our uh, northern hemisphere friends um, have been dealing with this kind of stuff for, for years so Definitely don't take pity on me. Um, anyway, here we go. Actually, I'll just show you around this. This is um, an equatorial platform that I built. Um, it's very basic and um, not the greatest of tracking. I usually get it, make maybe one or two captures out of it before it uh, starts to move out of view. But without it, I would definitely not be in uh, anybody's interest on. Uh, astrophotography images or anything like that so it only is basic and it works basically but uh, that's all you need really
Right, uh, so she's put together. Here's a little mirror. 16. use this and uh, we'll get a collar motor. Bear with me. Okay. Alright. She's a fair way up down there. Just definitely not a one-handed operation. We'll have to do some adjustments. All right, check back in a sec. Right, hey guys. So the problem was when I carried it, the um, the mirror just slid a little bit to the side in the, um, the bracket, the sling, and um, I just pushed it straight back. Then just realised, and um, now. You can see there that it's not 100% dead set um, in the middle but the thing is it's probably 22 degrees out now probably going to get to 16 and in another hour before I start on um, Jupiter I'll probably collimate it again so I'm not going to worry too much as, as it cools down it'll just um, it, so just shift around a little bit so we'll just leave it there for the time being and um, I'll shoot a couple of images of satin and that when it gets a little bit darker and then um, we'll go from there right guys we're back um, it's probably about 20 minutes later you can see a little bit of high cloud over there it should be that's east it should continue to go east yeah, a few ducks um actually there's jupiter there didn't even have to work to find that anyway um i've just put the uh, uh the adapter back in the one and a quarter adapter probably going to run this for satin Jupiter's just there satin's probably going to be about here somewhere so with um, Jupiter's about 50 degrees satin's a little bit higher so um, we won't worry about the ADC um, so this is what I'll run and I'll probably give it a bit of a go with um, the 485 and the 585 and see what uh, we can see in that regard. I'll come back down here. Excuse the mess. This is what I use for Jupiter and um, Mars. So it's a two and a half times um, Barlow. And the filter drawer is only new. It's uh, uh, it's a two-inch filter drawer with a one and a quarter uh, insert in it, but um, I only picked that up last week just for the because I've always got to pull the camera out to change the filters and stuff like that. And with this setup, it's um, it's challenging sometimes. You can knock it out, and because it's 100% manual, there's no go to or anything like that. And it's six and a half, seven thousand mil focal length. She's uh, she doesn't take much to um, give it a bit of a hiding, so. Um, uh, use this filter drawer 
new um, ADC so it's a nice compact unit and because of the distance from the Barlow to the camera the focal length is pretty similar it's probably about six and a half as well I think with the 3x Telview Barlow it's probably about 7,000 mil focal length I'll have a look on um, fire capture it normally tells us that so that's about it guys the um, the mirror is probably cooled to this um, temperature now so I'll have another quick look but um, two bit is brightening up can't yet see satin but um, I'll get on to Jupiter and um, we'll uh, get started and as soon as it gets a little bit darker should be able to find satin okay doke bye for now okay guys we're up and running as I said we got Jupiter and as you can see Hopefully you can see Saturn's there. The kid's going ballistic inside. Nice work. Got it on the screen. It's quite easy to get a, um, a colour calibration. But the high clouds make it a bit um, milky. Anyway, we've started. Let's see how we go. Bye for now.